Live from Austin City Limits, no less than 30 minutes round trip to the Marianas Trench. It's going to be a great night. Now, play Susie Snowflake and don't tell the kids what the dinosaur is doing to that box. Because here are your hosts, Ashley Paramore and Bonnie Brushwood. <laughs> oh my god! Buddy! Hey Ashley! How are you? Good! It's so crazy to be here! It is? Well, I would say it's crazy, but it's not. Because Brian usually checks out about Christmas time and I do all the work. How about at your house? I mean, pretty pretty much the same. I mean, it just seems like a you know a time time of year where they get lazier, right? Like yeah. so I feel like we gotta step in. Here we are we stepping take in. over, drink some wine. Indeed. Here we are. <laughs> Hi, everybody. We're taking over for the boys. It's a great life. We, we, uh, they, they, they said it and then it happened and nobody was expecting it. <laughs> Bryce, you seem confused by this. Normally, that's not the way that these things go, but uh, hello. Welcome to the show, Bonnie and Ashley. Yeah, it's your we, show. Hello. Welcome. I know. We, thank hey. you for having me. Yeah, we are totally unprepared, but we're here, you know? Well, yeah. you, you, you guys are normally the one who is that this? we dis- uh, Sorry. Yeah, who are you? No, Who's that? I'm the announcer. Uh, we're just announcers. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> okay. We're just literally announcers. We're just, just sitting over here announcing all day. I'm just thinking to myself, maybe I'm I'll announce sorry, that. ma'am. <laughs> back in your place. Back in the back. back <laughs> <laughs> Get back under the ice. Um. <laughs> okay, so in my in my envisioning, when they they brought this to me about a week ago, I've been like, yeah, okay. So th- the guys are gonna wear um, elf costumes, and then they're gonna have like little leashes so that we can like <laughs> tug what them is over. This, 50 shades of gray. <laughs> <laughs> I really like this. Fifty Shades of Green and Red. I don't know. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Colorblind. Right. Yeah. Very specific like erotica. I know. <laughs> Y'all are trying to do us like Carol Baskin's husband. <laughs> oh, no. I, I didn't watch There are a lot series. of acres here. There are a lot of acres. Mm-hmm. Hey, ask, ask Bryce. Uh, oh, hey, Bryce. Do you have a topic for us today? Oh, we do have a topic. Here's oh, your first I am topic. so glad. Here's a topic for you. <laughs> P politics. Ashley, this, oh. is, this is very, very personal. Mm-hmm. So a few months ago, uh, Justin and I went on a trip where we went down a lazy river when I learned a horrifying fact about my husband, and that's <gasps> that... Uh, he pees in pools, and he got very upset with me and called me out on this show for being like, oh, peeing in pools is cool, right? <laughs> um, do you pee in pools? I just got to know. <laughs> Not now that I'm an adult, and Thank I know you. how many Thank chemicals you. have to go into, like, clearing all that shit out. So, yeah. yeah. But they're going to put the chemicals in anyway. It's not like... <laughs> oh, I think Bryce. we know where Bryce lands on this topic. <laughs> yeah, where his paycheck <laughs> comes from. <laughs> <laughs> they got to clean it eventually. Oh well, that's God. the thing with boys, right? <laughs> like, they, they just, like, have a pee politics the, of their own. The world's their urinal, right? And yes. Like, so, so Justin does this thing uh, every Sunday where he likes to, you know, go relax and extend out to our patio and have a have a cigar and play hours of Hearthstone. Like that's basically all that happens. Okay. But he he revealed to me <laughs> that he. Uh, oh he, God, I can't I can't possibly guess what the end of the <laughs> sentence is. <laughs> You know how dogs like to mark their territory? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so he let me know that he was peeing on the house. Like he's like, he so he goes like down the stairs, boop boop boop, walks <laughs> to the left, boop boop, boop. underneath okay. the window where our bedroom is. <laughs> oh, and there's like a planter oh. there. He's a creeper yeah. beeper. <laughs> he's a creeper <laughs> beeper, and he just like pees on our house and like the pool thing I almost get because he's a grown man child right but like (laughs) on the house we paid a lot of money for that house and like it's only going up in value baby oh my god no now with the pee well I'm going to say though I'm just going to say causation does not necessarily equal correlation (laughs) but uh, 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 the more I pee on that house the more it's worth 
That's what my grandfather said. Be on the pillow, then check the Zillow. Now, <laughs> now I'm going to have to actually just say I do think it's a man's right to get to pee on his house. I just no, agree with yeah. you. The toilet is like, no, no, I do. I do. <laughs> what's, what's funny? <laughs> Bryce, is, Bryce is leaving, not for the sentiment, <laughs> but for the sexism. <laughs> <laughs> Grab my beer. I think it's revelation, especially <laughs> if you're buying an Austin real estate and you put a lot of money into I it. Don't, then I you, don't it's care. your right to mark that shit, Bonnie. Yes. The, 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 it, it is further to walk down the stairs and be in the bush <laughs> than it is to the toilet that's just right <laughs> on the other side of the door to get back into the fucking house. But it. It's your house, and you get to pee on it. I don't pee on our house. <laughs> Good answer. But you Good could. Answer. But you could if you wanted to. You know what? Okay, fine. I will pee on the house on one condition. <laughs> yeah, we got one it. Condition. We did it, Reddit. There it go. I'm just saying, if there's not a she we in the P.O. box after Christmas, then like I'm not doing it. Oh, oh. Now that's the thing. Is I grew up with a brother, and you had sisters. Uh huh. Right. So have you or have you not spelled out your name in dirt? While peeing? <laughs> yes! Uh, uh, what do you uh, do? Are uh, you like you... squatting? You're like... It's oh. very difficult. But if you grow up in the country, you are... <laughs> She's, we can only describe it as crab-like. <laughs> crab-like. Yes, crab I'm sorry. Like. There's not a better... Snowers would approve. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I imagine it's more a monogram than it is a full signature. Like. Oh, no. I got very good. We lived on, like... <laughs> <laughs> You're making a crop circle? Like, I can put my whole point? name Bonnie in oh person. I was going to say a certain CD box set <laughs> featured my work. <laughs> Let me get through, the, through this glass and I'll practice outside after the show. Okay, we'll just, okay. yeah. we, we've got plenty of land to do it. I do recommend, however, is it, you have to pick the right spot because it's, it's pretty compromising to be found with your britches down. You know, performing these maneuvers. Now, if y'all remember Brian talking about how he was out peeing here on his property and there was like a a sound that he didn't quite register and it turned out to be the neighbor pulling the, the trash can along so that you hear that rumble, 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 rumble and he's just like, oh shit, I better zip up, you know? It's just like, you gotta have... I, I imagine he shouted that as well. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh shit, I gotta zip up! <laughs> is out. Uh, I'm going to be discovered whizzing outdoors in nature. For my counsel's request, I have no comments. <laughs> but the thing is, he, that was he, just the tweet he said. <laughs> he had told me this. Dog Abby. He had told me the story. And then like one day I was out and I was like washing my brushes off in our little outside sink. Like, and I was like, mm, it smells over here. And I'm like, is this what? The cars drive by, and it, apparently it wasn't. But that's the thing. You got to pick the right spot. So. But it could have been. That's the it thing about Ian Brian. You so, never know when he'll <laughs> so, when he'll go. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the ideal spot? What's it when you're when you're when you're signing your checks with your P? Like right. where where do you where do you go? Me, I do not do this any longer. However, I would you. <laughs> You would really impress me if you marked your house with a little sheepy. So <laughs> I, I expect to hear reports. Oh my god! In fact, is that the consequence if you uh, lose? The consequence is next topic. <laughs> <laughs> Our next topic is Ooh, announcer COVID test folly. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, let's go. So I guess that's. That's, That's my you, Bonnie. story. Yeah. Um, so uh, Josie's been having sniffles, and we're just like, oh, shit, it's coming up to Christmas, and she's in public school, so we better do all these little COVID tests. So we have the at-home ones, right? And then the problem is is that I am so dialed in on making sure everything is fine that I take a photo of our little test and zoom in so I can see whether or not there's, like, this pink line because in the instructions it says okay the blue line is it's working 
It's the control. It's the control. And then the pink line of any degree, if there's any pink line, then that means you've got COVID and your whole Christmas is fucked. You know, that's what it says in the instructions. <laughs> that's right. And yeah. so that means that you are not the beta baffler, the Delta Dodger, <laughs> the Kron. You're none of those. Hush. You are not. What does that sound like? So then, so then we, I, I look at it, but I think like the photograph has like a little bit of a shadow. So then we do like two more tests because that's the way I am. And then I'm uh, like, oh, okay. For the record, Bonnie got full on Ansel Adams on this shit. Like, like yeah. fucking Nick, like I, I saw a mood over half black dome. and white. <laughs> yes. It was amazing. <laughs> yeah. So like, there was like, like there's, I, I don't even understand it, but, but then I'm thinking maybe that's pink. And then if there's a maybe, then I have to know. Right. Uh. So we did. So then we take her into the into the test at her school. They they offer like a free COVID test in the parking lot by a professional. School. By a professional, right? Which I saw one time as I drive up. The professional is smoking the hugest cigar in the school parking lot in that front of no the cigar. children. Clearly unprofessional. <laughs> yeah. Not only is he smoking on school grounds where there's a bunch of signs that are like, don't smoke on school grounds, but he is driving, or driving, he is skateboarding up and down with a cigar. And he is so groovy that I have to take a little, little video, which I forgot to share with Bryce, so I'm sorry. But um, he is so groovy with it. And I was like, that guy is high as fuck. And the only thing missing was so he wasn't writing fun. horror novels for young adults. I know. He really should have been in a hot tub, too. <laughs> skateboarding with his blunt, right? So then it was it was kind of an I'm amazing. Of Can I please test your teen for COVID? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Wow. How COVID ruined Christmas. The new, the new uh, 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 R.L. Stein book. <laughs> <clears throat> so we go to that guy, and we're just like, um, "Hey." We might have COVID, so can you do the thing? And he's just like, both of you? And I'm like, no, just her. Because, like, I'm not sick yet, so just, mm, I don't want so he, So he does the nose thing with Josie, and he goes away. And then I see him come back, and then he's just like. And he looks under the car, and I'm like, okay, something's really weird. And then he, like, goes back to his little. Cut. I thought I saw a gremlin. Right. <laughs> yeah. It reminded me of one of my favorite books, The Gremlin <laughs> Beneath the Minivan. <laughs> I wrote it five minutes ago. <laughs> it's already got movie rights option. So then he comes back again. And he looks a little more intently. And then he goes back in. And I'm like, well, I, I clearly dropped something. So then, and then he goes, and then He's he goes about back to drop in. a truth bomb. I know. And then he comes back out and he says, and he says, um, I am so sorry, but I, I lost your ID. Oh, and no. like, cause he has to take my ID with the paperwork and stuff. He goes, I, I dropped your ID somewhere. It like fell through the crack on the, on the desk. And I thought I could get it. And then it just I'm, gone. I'm, I'm, and, I'm, I'm sorry to break character, Bonnie. I right. know that, that Justin and I are just announcers on this program, yes. but yeah. I have to ask you in the story that you've set up, there are two places there's inside your minivan and there's oh inside his inside little inside the tent okay where he, he smokes blunts and skateboards right 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 well he's he skates boards in the in the parking lot but inside yeah. this and tent, and the blunts are poorly rolled right right, right. right. poorly yeah. rolled blunts are inside the little thing anyway so he's in his tent and he dropped my id and it disappeared and then he came back to my minivan and was just like um i'm sorry and he's apologizing to me he goes, uh, but I will call you and let you know when I find it because it's there. I just can't find it. And I said, great. And then I go, but what did we learn? Wait, you said that to him? I did because I'm like wanting to know if she's positive or negative yeah, way, on the what fucking are the results test. For the COVID All I care about. I, oh, I God damn. I thought you were saying, what did we learn about the way we handle other people's private <laughs> information? Today? Okay, wait to see. <laughs> Step on my joke line. Oh, Thank you, Brian. Sorry. So anyway, sorry. so I said, what did we learn? Because I was like, all I really gave a care about was whether she was sick or well. And, he, and then he goes, he goes, and then he bows his head like he's a oh. high school student. He goes, to be more careful. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Jesse just wanted to reach his little 
little cheeks, his little high cheeks, and go, it's okay. But he go, but but only because he said, oh, she's negative. It's fine. I, I just don't know where your idea is. So, anyways, <laughs> to be <laughs> more careful. <laughs> yes, what did so we learn? Cute. You look great for forty-seven. <laughs> <laughs> He did text me a little later on. He was just like, he was just like, I found your ID, and I said, "Great, I'll be right back." And I got my ID. I feel like I feel like you read that. I feel like maybe that's some of your own reading on that one. Maybe, but shh, don't ruin it for me. <laughs> Let Bonnie be a milf, Bryce. Yeah. What is that? Is my supporter. new favorite bit is two wives berate Bryce about how hot they are. <laughs> two wives berate Twink. Oh, God. I'm a switch. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Bryce, anyway. when, it, when, when it comes to supporting Bonnie's story, what did we learn? <laughs> the. Uh, uh, <laughs> The trust to believe in her? Uh, what? I, I kind of forgot. No, that she's negative. negative. <laughs> <laughs> and her daughter's negative. Next topic. Next topic. <laughs> Where are my announcers? Uh, <laughs> announcers? Not a price tweet. Okay. So, Bonnie, there's a lot of things coming and moving <laughs> from. Uh, California to the great state of Texas that mm. I was not prepared for. You know, I I, I was wor- I was worried about a lot of things. I was worried like, oh, where am I going to get my yuppie vegan food? Like, where am I going to, you know, get my artisanal free range kale? But like, <laughs> what I what I wasn't prepared for. And I found all those things. Ashley, I'm sorry to interrupt, but for a brief moment, I heard free range hail, which no. I thought was even more metal, like like these frozen <laughs> pellets from the sky got to run free before they came to earth and became uh, water. Let's, let's go for, with that. For real. <laughs> where though? <laughs> where? <laughs> where? Uh, but but yeah, the the thing that I was not prepared for was the 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 tree semen that has been infecting my sinuses. <laughs> For the last a couple of weeks, I, nobody I, told me that a tree was going to just into the air. I think nobody. I, it's like, kind of our whole I thing. They put it was, on their fucking sports teams logo. Oh, is that what that is? It's is a tree. A it's a big oak tree. I thought it was. Oh. I thought it was cedar. Yeah. I thought cedar was the. Is the FC for fucking cum or? <laughs> <laughs> Are in language. I'm no, you're allowed to, to, no, you, you, you're allowed to I, say I that one. I think cum is legal. I think cum is legal in this state. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, only in certain respects. You know, we didn't. Uh, what respects? Texas and cum have like issues if there's pregnancies and stuff. I don't know. Anyways, we've been in the news lately. Okay. <laughs> you guys see this? <laughs> they don't let you come in Texas. What the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, I'm really right. uncomfortable that this is a better show. <laughs> also, something I want to chase, like, okay, like don't guys. come to Texas or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. No, Look. Come and take it. No. Yeah, yeah. Come and come take it. God damn it. Oh, it's nice. It. Yeah, it's yeah, oh. don't, don't come to Texas because the trees will. Like, I mean, if only there was a yeah. PSA to warn you. I, I Yeah. Wait. It's only if somebody had tried to warn you years ago. Yeah, that was that was of course the uh, uh, MC allergy. Yeah, yeah. right. Uh, the, PSA. the legendary, the legendary, legendary MC oh, allergy. Mm-hmm. If only she was here tonight to bust out a song <laughs> about a legendary. Cedar. <clears throat> yeah, uh, uh, I think it would go a little something like Ooh, this. I found some poop. There was a mouse in your house. Don't be a louse. <laughs> Pull up your blouse. <laughs> Sorry, uh, what were you saying? I mean, <laughs> I, by the way, audio listeners, 
there's no words to describe the type of smile you make when you remember having made up a song but are unsure of what you say for the next two minutes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that, and that, that is indeed the grin plastered on Bonnie's face. Well, the good news is that... Is that that is literally the first time I heard it. Like, <laughs> what? Oh, no. You've definitely heard that before. Uh, no, not since it came out of my mouth. It is just oh still my there. God, really? <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, oh, well, my well God. Uh, uh, the good news is, is that while you have the, the common elements of cedar fever, which is a shallow cough and sniffles, that uh, at least there's not a gigantic wave of a respiratory virus for which those are also <laughs> symptoms. Something you might confuse the two for. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know what that'd be. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. There's something going around I heard. I right. saw it on the Facebooks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, People it's, complaining it's about cold. it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. wait, wait. No, I, I, you know what? I think what I'm catching is the next topic. Here's our next topic. <laughs> Brian's Christmas Miracle. I already don't like whatever this is. <laughs> okay. I don't know why. Uh, so I can't believe it, but I went from really, really hating the song, um, simply having a wonderful, a wonderful Christmas. Christmas. Uh, all right. Everybody Sorry. lay out. Everybody lay out. Bonnie, Shh, can yes. you please sing as much of the song as <laughs> oh my god right no this is this is gonna be oh because we, we, would i you only like, obviously would you like the karaoke know. track yeah let's uh, i'll okay. try it we'll, we'll, okay we'll, we'll see if we we'll see if we can we'll get the we... actual karaoke track and i and i want you to just bust it out yeah we'll you know see. get to Buddy, look at the yeah, words yeah, 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 so. talk about talk about this okay song. so there's a song and i'm just like this is drivel like this is the weakest the weakest material I've ever heard, all smashed up. It's a money grab. It's like, I know all you're doing is like you just walked around and you gathered topics for that you see at Christmas time and then you made a Christmas song out of it. But really, you didn't even make a song, right? right. And, like and you it's know, just, you, it's just talking and you, it's. You, you know this. Yeah. So well that without the lyrics, you're able to recite this exactly. thing that you've studied and hate so much. It, exactly. <clears throat> uh, which That's goes right. a little something like this. <laughs> you're too Sun good. is up. I walk outside. There's a dude with jingle bells. Everybody's hiding because it's stupid and it's Christmas and it's winter and I really fucking want your money. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. (laughs) It's pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> Wait, did you see? I was clapping for myself. I was <laughs> joining and, 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 and in. Everybody's clapping, clapping. I'm clapping too. I'm uh, and you should. <laughs> so, but I re- so I don't really like the song. And then Brian, <laughs> <laughs> Brian is sitting there watching that whole Beatles thing. And then I'm realizing it's so bad. By the way, wait, the Beatles? Yeah. No, Beatles I thing. love it. It makes me cry every time. It makes me cry. I love it because there's these young men sitting around trying to like make new material and it's hard and they have cameras on and it's like uh, I, I see where this uh, is headed. Uh, <laughs> and it's like I anyways. So and then the pizza gets delivered, right? And the pizza Wait, gets hold on. Delivered. Wait, is is making new material legal in Texas? <laughs> well, it depends. You know, do you want the material to be like delivered or not delivered? Oh so <laughs> that's the whole thing. But I mean, um, how many houses are involved? All the houses. <laughs> all right, so we're shooting material all over the houses. Yeah. Anyways, so I watched the Beatles documentary a little bit. All I okay, all I watched is ten minutes. All right, but then I'm just like smart move. I was just like, oh 
my god, you get they're the point. so young, and then you get the point, and then just like, and then Yoko Ono is such a bitch, and she's eating a muffin, and, <laughs> and I eat muffins too while they're making their art, and I get it. So thank God muffins are illegal in Texas. I like. know, and so I realized that. <laughs> He's high as fuck when he wrote this Christmas song. <laughs> and also, I'm just like, I love this song. Because it's just like, I get it. He has his child. He has to walk around the block. Because I, I understand, you know, you got to do the Christmas shit with your family. And you got your wife. And you got your nice. And you're like, all right, I'll get through it. It's like, simply having a wonderful. And he had a great An time. An essential crisis. I know. <laughs> I know, so he had a really good time. He did the most of it, and then he just like so whatever he wrote. I think he was really feeling it. Well, uh, uh, two things. I think everything about your theory is right. I think yeah. number one, he wandered into a Radio Shack and pressed one key, and that's where the whole song came from. He was really high. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just establish and, and that two, there's only he one definitely key. Ran out of things to say. It just started saying. Ding dong, ding dong, ding, ding dong. dong. No, I, 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 the thing I love the most about that song is that when he says, and that's enough, he's referring to <laughs> he, he, he's referring to his <laughs> effort on the lyrics. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and, then, and that's enough. <laughs> simply having a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. Christmas time. Four hundred to six hundred thousand dollars per month is how much he makes on the royalties of that song. Oh. Get that bag, Paul. Oh, Get that bag. I, you know, good for him. I get it, right? You just do your thing. So anyways, I think I hear something else. I think I hear next topic, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and this, uh, I think this will need to be our last topic. State of the law. Law, 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 law. Oh, me, law, wait, you, that's me. Long time. I think. Still, I again, so. I'm sorry. So anyways. That we're handing him off. Um, <laughs> okay, so <laughs> we could do the other one. We could... Harder than you thought, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's not, that's not so easy. Wait, do you, do you want to do the other topic? All I have to do is just talk, and y'all have to listen. This is literally the easiest shit that I've ever done. I love it. So, <laughs> right, Brian? No, no. no. Next topic, like Bryce. Next topic. I forgot to write the other topic. <laughs> <laughs> what was your topic? Do you want to go? No, I, I mean, I, I, I can. I, I brought something with what me. Was, so. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. No, 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 this is All better. Right. Uh, you guys uh, would uh, like uh, it. Uh, just play the music, Bryce. Here we go. Yeah. Bah. The gift of the vibe yes. guy. <laughs> Sorry. So, awesome. so, I don't know about you, but I, I have like a ton of Christmas anxiety, particularly with gift giving. Yeah. Um, and Justin is very hard to buy for uh, because we're adults. We buy what we want for ourselves, right? And, like, he's a very thoughtful gift giver, and so he doesn't think he is. But, like, he always comes up with something, like, really nice. That's right? really sweet. It is really sweet. And, you know, we have, like, a one to two gift ratio, so I'll buy him two things because I know his one is going to be better than my two. And so <laughs> we were sitting down watching a, I don't know if it was Witcher Succession or something. I think it was Succession, and um, I I was I was complaining about about my hammies because I do too many squats and my hammies hurt. Mm. And What's usually like? I'm doing hammies right now because I haven't done <laughs> hammies in a long time. <laughs> uh, it's like the flavor of the the the, the wine, but um, like so he. Normally, I peer pressure him into like just giving me a little massage, and then I saw his face light up because I'm always begging him. I'm like, "Hey, can we open a, open presents early? Because I bought too many damn gifts for you." And he was like, "Oh, I'll let you open one gift early." And it kind of clicked in my head that I'm like, "I'll bet you I know what he got me." And so I go run and I get a gift I want to give to him. He comes and gives a gift to me, and he opens his gift first, and he just looks me dead in the eye and laughs. Uh, because I got him what he got me, which is a vibrator. 
Ooh. And it's like, I know. Very we are from the very, Bay Area. We, we are, I know. You're bringing that. Don't you know there's regulations in Texas on that kind of shit? Yeah. So. But the, I, was, I was hoping I, I could have a demonstration on the show to Uh-oh. show you how it works. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, okay. oh. Don't, oh. don't, 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 don't. Are, 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 are you sure don't, this isn't going to break TOS? I was about to say. This might be worse than the C word. We have a precarious relationship with cum. Oh. Uh, it's... <laughs> <laughs> it's a workout. It's a workout tool. It's a workout tool. Workout uh, that tool. I, I got. I got him That's as well. That's what they're calling it. Is a workout tool. Okay, guys. More beautiful. Oh, oh, it's fucking called the vibe. Oh. I mean, that's that's the worst part of it. <laughs> wait, but no, wait, because wait, wait, because okay. Justin <laughs> Justin's been working right. out. Oh, oh sorry, that's probably a little. Fine, oh. I can't walk. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for, for audio listeners, so, it is a massage gun, the likes of which it's uh, huge. You, 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 you might have it's seen. It's very it. large <laughs> and pounding, and I can understand <laughs> why this is illegal in Texas. <laughs> Why don't we do this more often? I thought... This is the best way to get really close to violating TOC without... It's... it's, Look, it's... I thought it was a nice gift to buy for for Justin because he's been working out. This is for you. I will reciprocate. Okay. You get to turn the power button I do not even know how... And there you go. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) But I thought it would be a nice gift for Justin. Because he's been he's been like working out so much and it feels right. it feels where very does, nice. It helps where with does the dumb. Justin use this thing? I mean, I haven't I mean. asked him. <laughs> <laughs> like at the pool or at the uh, what, at, at the, the gym? <laughs> I thought you meant on the body. What the fuck is he using? What the? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what's great is not <laughs> not, <laughs> not not in the pool, but no. at the pool. Yeah. Like you're just rocking on the boat. <laughs> what's, up? what's up, bro? Are yeah. you vibing? I'm vibing. Uh, uh, am I using it to loosen grout? <laughs> 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 I mean, I think it's really like amazing that you'd bring it onto the show and share it with us all. So. Thank you. <laughs> Sharing is caring, you know. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. So. Man, if only somebody would share their money with us. Indeed, Indeed. Brian. Indeed. Uh, 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 I, I realized that no, was a thing we no, did no, not no, go I tr- over. I trust. I trust them. They got this. They oh, got oh, this. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you guys yeah, want yeah. to do the Patreon plug? Oh yes. Uh, uh, okay. Talk about money. Yeah, yeah. Go. Yeah. Talk about Go. all the money that comes in that that uh, uh, helps our families. Go. Our okay. husbands don't work very hard. And <laughs> they... <laughs> That's true. But when they do work hard, they get a massage with a big old vibrator. <laughs> but only if you if you give give your your hard earned cash to Patreon.com slash. Great night. I guess it was yep. great night. Yep. It's, a great great night. night. <laughs> it's, it's been a great night. And I got to say that we have a child going to college. <laughs> and if yep. you care about her at all, you'll help support her in this yep. venture. Yep. Yep. <laughs> there it is. There it is. By the way, she was on, she was on the, the Great Room pre-show. Uh, we yes. can announce, and uh, uh, I don't think I'm talking out of school, but as of mm-hmm. now... She is going to college, and when she does, as of this moment, she does not have a vibe gun. That's true. It's, I just. (laughs) I just saw, man, have you ever seen, like, in all of your peripheral vision, heads bow down and shake at once? (laughs) That's something I just got to see. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I think I. That's a moment where nobody's going to make the other joke. (laughs) That's right. No one's going to follow up on that joke. Uh, 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 Also, uh, 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 we also have a bonus, of course, if you are a patron. Then our patrons get bonus episode exclusively. Bonus episode, so you get to see the pre-show, mm-hmm. and no, oh, no. you already get that's that. That's free. You already that's get free. that now. Oh, everybody it's gets, free yeah, now. Everybody gets that. <laughs> I keep telling them not to give this shit away for free. <laughs> so that's, you guys are lucky that's our with seal these of husband. I know. So you're lucky that you get to have a little taste of the early stuff. But the for the record, this show, is our best ex-wife show we've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, mm. But no, there is a bonus episode, totally separate. So nothing that gets recorded tonight is part of the bonus. It is a separately recorded bonus episode. Oh, right. so did you know they were doing that? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did they rope us into this too? I guess so. No, All right, well, know. enjoy. Anyways, so enjoy your free whole extra episode that I don't know anything about. If, no, you I'm just get, if, you're, on, if you're on the Patreon, and that is at... <laughs> 
at Patreon. Patreon. Great dot great slash great night. Slash. There you go. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> oh, stop. No more splashes. Uh, 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 guys, uh, uh, would you mind if we joined you up there? Yeah, get on, on up here on, because on I stage? feel right. like I feel like there's Mag- interesting stuff. Something magical happening Something? right now. I'm feeling the vibe. Well, it's that time of year. No, I put it, it back over there. You did. Uh, if, yeah, if people uh, don't know, it's that it simply is that time of year uh, while everyone gets on the you know, they're, they're they're saying it's the time of the year. Many people are saying we're, we're being told that it's the time. Some of people yeah. say. Oh, 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 wait, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Which way? There we go. Beautiful. Oh, now we're now we're cooking. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, folks, we have had the pleasure of of having a guest on this program for many many years in a row. A lot of people want him. He is a, an in demand guest, and yet nobody is able to secure mm-hmm. the real, true, and iconic. Santa Claus live from the North Pole. Santa, can you hear us, Santa? What? Oh, <laughs> Santa, Santa! Santa! Santa Claus live from the North Pole. Are you there? I'm here. Hello, can you hear me? Uh, yes, we I, can. I, 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 I can hear you. It seems as if your Zoom background is very <laughs> aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You know, it's interesting. I can make any toy or anything in the whole world, but I can't get this shit to work properly. <laughs> <laughs> I see you mere mortals have a beautiful studio, <laughs> and look at this shit. It's a train wreck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Santa, uh, 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 well, it's, it's great to see you again. We're so excited to have you on. Uh, 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 I feel like we have some questions here from the audience, right, Bryce? That's right. We've got some letters here uh, from all the good well, little boys I'll, and girls. I'll have in to diamond. point out something else that's kind of funny. Santa totally forgot about this thing. <laughs> and, oh, and was... Santa promised Mrs. Claus that he was going to take her Christmas shopping tonight. Uh-huh. Now you may be asking yourself. Why would Mrs. Claus ask Santa to take her Christmas <laughs> shopping when Santa has a whole workshop to make any Christmas present in the world? Yeah. Well, I don't know. <laughs> That's fucking Mrs. Claus now. Well, uh, how, how is Mrs. Claus taking the news that, that, that you have a... a... Very, very badly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, uh, well, we've got a we've got some letters here from all the good little boys in Diamond Club. I like this one from ipoopmypants.com who writes, "Dear Santa, this year all I want for Christmas are some Reese's Pieces, ribs, rib tibs, and butts for blowing." End letter. Thank you. Rib tibs. <laughs> I love rib tibs. Hey! Hey! Mrs. Claus and I slather each other with goose fat (laughs) and squeeze ourselves into our favorite booth at the Fruitcake Factory, where we slowly, sensually, and saucily face-fuck each other with meaty, greasy rib tips. Oh, my God. That's so saucy of you. Wow. 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 The, 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 I hear the rib tips are a favorite on your program as well. They <laughs> are. Right, they what, are. Wow. Uh, 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 the original rib on. tips are vegan, right? I, I, I was going to say, the, the Fruitcake Factory is not something that I'd heard of since a Rush Limbaugh parody song in 1987. <laughs> uh, Megadettos. <laughs> Bryce, do we have another question? Yes, we do. Bobcat writes, uh, Santa... How can you hope to compete with Amazon and Walmart in terms of selection and supply chain operations? Magical elves and reindeer can only do so much. Please send me a pony. That says Bobcat. Uh, First off, fuck you and your pony. (laughs) (laughs) Life was lost when I sacrificed it live to appease the horde wrathful hunger of Tusky the Pesky Walrus. (laughs) The Pesky Walrus? How did he get that name? He, because he has these horrible <laughs> horns coming out of it. He's kind of like Cthulhu, but with with horns. <laughs> Very pesky. 
I mean, I don't know. Uh, for audio listeners, you have to appreciate that <laughs> this uh, uh, Santa is blinking in and out like a low budget '90s techno video <laughs> throughout all of these uh, all of these missives for which he is letting people know. Uh, 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 That's uh, the Christmas magic. It, it is a uh, uh, Santa. So uh, people mentioned, do you have beef with some of these people, like like Jeff Bezos, that are effectively becoming a year round Santa Claus, delivering uh, uh, toys? Uh, I'll tell you, I've got a beef with Jeff Bezos because I was taking a test run the other day, at my sleigh, and then one of his <laughs> penis rockets came flying up and almost killed me in the reindeer. Oh, so, my goodness. So, so you're, you're mainly upset about uh, airspace-related issues. That, that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> or is it no, the shape no, we, of the rocket that is really offensive? Yeah, that's well, the, that is offensive, I don't too. find it offensive. Uh, do, do you think, Santa, there's anything to the idea of, of drone technology doing the deliveries so you could stay at home, press a button, and all of a sudden all the gifts could you know find their way themselves? I think that that would be fantastic, because to be perfectly <laughs> honest with you, I'm really sick of this garbage. <laughs> Bryce, do we have another question? But it's getting easier, oh. because, uh, you know, I compete with Amazon and Walmart the same way they compete with each other. Namely, I outsource most of my to the toy making to Red China. <laughs> You know they say that you could see the Great Wall of China from space? Yeah, yes, yeah. of course. That's a bunch of reindeer shit. <laughs> <laughs> I've been flying the sleigh over Red China. I always look for it. I've never seen it. You know what I can see from space, though? What's that? A Great Wall of container ships stretching from Chongqing <laughs> over to the North Pole. Jesus, with the fire infrastructure tanks, uh, Santa has supply chain dingers. Oh, <laughs> speaking of the supply chain, I installed one of my cleverest elves in a very, very high-ranking position in the Biden administration. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, President uh, Biden, yes. The supply chain in the submission, namely... Secretary of Transportation, Pete Buttigieg. <laughs> now, you could make the point that he hasn't exactly found the missing link to the supply chain yet, but no. that's okay because I'm playing some four-dimensional chess here <laughs> in that <laughs> Secretary Buttigieg is very, fairly well positioned. Oh, no! Oh, no! no. no. Oh. oh, for a second we thought we lost you there, Santa. Are you there? Uh, Santa froze. Santa did Santa froze. It's very, oh, no. froze. It's very it's cold at the North Pole. It is. It'd be oh, a real wow. bummer if we just like uh, become internationally famous for the moment Santa gets canceled. Exactly. Maybe uh, 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 maybe <laughs> Mrs. Claus kicked his router out. <laughs> oh, maybe. He's done with this shit. Oh, just like. Uh, 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 oh my God! Uh, uh, so many stunning revelations normally happen with Santa, but this more more Absolutely. than other years. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. no, I think I think he seems a a, a, a a bit riled up and a bit teched down. He, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, 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 the the funniest thing is that uh, uh, he seems more prepared than usual, <laughs> and yet less prepared than <laughs> usual. Oh, there, there's oh, our, there's our, there's our, our oh, Santa. Right. Hello, Santa. <laughs> Where did you go? <laughs> Sorry, we uh, we got pulled away on a brief errand. We have another question for you, Santa. Yeah, what, yeah. What's the next question? All right, this next question. Come, oh, uh, you can hear us. Okay. Uh, this next question comes in from Sidecrypt. Sidecrypt writes, "Hey, Santa, can you kick Elon Musk in the dick? I have been waiting yep. for two years for my model." <laughs> You want? Uh, I will oh help my gosh. Elon Musk in the dick with a narwhal tusk. Oh, oh. Uh, wow. Santa! Uh, wow. I, 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 I know that uh, this might be a little aggressive here for you, but since you're so uh, quick on the draw there with kicking Elon Musk in the dick, uh, 
Could you give us uh, uh, the rest of your top five of people that you'd like to kick in the dick this year? Yeah. I, I assume you have to make the naughty list. So. I mean, we don't, yeah. we don't get to do this kind of thing often, but this would be, if I were to put on an announcer voice, uh, Santa's top five, top five, top five, mm -hmm. dick we're kicks. We're spot here, aren't we? Yeah, well, <laughs> coming in at number one, number one, Elon Musk. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, uh, number two, I'm I'm gonna have to say, Senator from West Virginia, Joe Manchin. Oh, okay. Manchin, ah! Joe Manchin, you just got a dick kicked by Santa all Claus. My coal, <laughs> and I can't put it in people's stockings because Manchin got it all. Because Manchin has all the coal. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Senator from West Virginia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, well, we talked about Bezos. Then yep. there's the whole Walton family. Okay. So, <laughs> All of the oh. Walton family. All of them. So is that enough for you? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. With the Waltons, that's a top 25. Bryce, we got another question. Yeah, we got one from Jimmy R. Jimmy writes, I'm thinking of surprising my wife for Christmas this year by using body paint to color one half of my sack green <laughs> and the other <laughs> half red. What color should I paint my hog, and do you think she'll like it? That's from Jimmy. Thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> See, this is the real talk that you don't get on The View. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is this I close think... to The View? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there are four of us, whatever. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I guess fuck me. Or, yeah. uh... Do I get to be, do I get to be whoopy? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. I want to be whoopy. Uh, based on the question, I'm guessing that Jimmy is an ignorant white hick, so um, wow. I would say leave your hog as is, and your package is then going to look like the Mexican flag, <laughs> which chances are you won't like. But if your wife likes taquitos, <laughs> it's going to be a white Christmas at Jimmy's house. That's a good point, Santa. That's a good point. <laughs> I mean, when you're right, you're right, Santa. <laughs> I mean, despite our problematic history with cum at this state, but <laughs> great, great take, Mr. S. Uh, another, uh, another question. Here's one. We've got one from Greenpeace. Greenpeace writes, Dear Santa, are you aware that coal produces greenhouse gases and other pollution? We insist you stop giving it out for free. <laughs> <laughs> giving it out for no, free. I'm... The coal. Shocking that they're going to comment after getting sued by Greg. Mm. Yes, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm completely aware. Uh, I'm completely aware of what it's doing to the North Pole. You know, if you could see outside my my yeah, your, wi your window, here, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, I mean, it, it looks all nice and snowy, but it's actually a fiery hellscape. <laughs> wow. Uh, mm. A fiery hellscape. Wait, hold on. Wait, so that's not really your workshop behind you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it looks like it looks like a, a, a into the spider verse is happening to you. You're 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 shifting in and out of existence. Is that because of the warming? You know, I don't, I don't want to destroy everything for you, but there's a lot of things about Santa that aren't real. <laughs> really? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what's one of the lesser known things that people might be surprised about that it's not real about Santa? Uh, that me and Mrs. Claus get along. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's right off the top of my head. <laughs> Uh, Bryce, uh, what else we got? <laughs> okay, we've got this one from Flavor Toothpaste. Flavor Toothpaste writes, Can I suck the wine out of your beard? I'm poor, but I'm also an alcoholic. <laughs> oh, my, oh God. my God. Yes, yes, you may. <laughs> Actually, I, I would enjoy that, but, you know, to get back to uh, the first question here uh, about the rib tips, you know, we <laughs> also... Uh, he also wanted some uh, pieces, pieces, and some butts for blowing. Yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't know what butts for blowing was, so uh, yeah, yeah, I Googled it, and the top result came from Urban Dictionary for butts <laughs> for blowing, which is, quote, the act of licking a butthole <laughs> oh! to it. Santa, then having you're the best. Air fart it back into your mouth, sometimes farting small chunks of dung into your mouth. So that's what 
you can understand why I read Reese's pieces in his letter as feces pieces. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Mm. Okay. Justin, our, our expert on blowing butts and rib tibs, do you have a response to? Uh, uh, you're not real. Next question. <laughs> Weirdly, he's saying that to Bryce and not Santa. Yeah. <laughs> All right, a few more here. JC Calhoun writes, have you ever considered moving to the South Pole, Santa? Oh, big relocation. Ooh. Yeah, there'd be land underneath you. Uh, no, <laughs> I, I really haven't because um, the South Pole would have way too many gun-toting, science-denying, obese Southern fundamentalists yeah. who say that I'm a socialist because I wear a red suit and give things to poor people. So so, so let's, let's say you're in a really cold place and you're not sure whether or not you're at the South Pole. So, like, uh, let's say if you find yourself slurping gravy from a golden chick, you might be at the South Pole. Yeah, you might be at the South Pole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you might be at the South Pole if somebody gives you a You've BB gun. You've been banned from every Waffle House because uh, <laughs> what management refers to as the glazed ham incident. <laughs> you might be at the South Pole. There's a reputation around uh, Antarctica is what I'm hearing. Uh, 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 Santa, I just wanted to go back to another question real quick. So there was a request to slurp wine out of your beard because they were both... Yes. Or an alcoholic, yeah. But I wanted to ask: Have you ever gotten other requests, maybe in in, in among the letters that that get sent to you of uh, uh, you know uh, going from house to house? Any strange or interesting requests that people make? Maybe not the kids, but the parents. They they ask for things from Santa because they know that you're coming to visit down that chimney on Christmas Eve. Uh, yeah. The, one of the weirder ones I got this year is I want the. I want the reindeer, the team of reindeer, to run a train on my wife. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I was afraid mine would be the weirdest because I wanted to be a steam friend. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I wanted, yeah. You just wanted, yeah. I wanted. To so you think that, you thought that was the worst? I'm, but no. instead, he now, was going to entertain a notion. My wife requesting of, that a bunch of reindeer fuck run a train yeah. on. Yeah. yeah. Now I feel like I got to look up steam on. Uh, Oh, on sure. Urban Dictionary. So wait, so while the train was going on, would you be yelling on Donner, on Cupid, <laughs> on Connor, on Blitzen? The Polar Express is coming <laughs> in the station. Surprise question. All right, this is our last question. This is from Santa's favorite. Santa's favorite writes, "Dear Santa, oh for Christmas I would like a new gaming PC or laptop and world peace. Pick no, one." Okay. Else. Sorry. This, this is a good, finally, a normal letter to Santa. You, you see, people, how it's done? Not overly long, not stupidly dense, no references to butt blowing or pieces, pieces. Just, dear Santa, here's what I want. The problem is, you're not going to get shit from me because you are not my favorite. Mm. Just like oh, calling wow. yourself Santa's favorite. Um, okay. Yep, uh, that's, uh, I gotta load my sleigh with rib tips. Yeah, <laughs> and deliver them to all the world's children. All right, Santa, uh, uh, you know that we think the world of you. What would you want? I don't most? think you do. <laughs> oh, wow, Jesus okay. God damn it. Uh, 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 Santa, if there is one wish, of course, people look to you. Uh, uh, every year to give a a, a note of mirth. Uh, obviously, this has been a, a hard year for a lot of people. If there's cool. one bit of Christmas cheer that you can spread the world round, uh, uh, a million ears are listening to you right now. What would you say to all of them on this Christmas episode? Be nice, unlike Santa. <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, stand up! Yes! You know, I got to tell you, Mrs. Claus actually yelled at me, be nice. And that's the reason <laughs> I said that. She fed you that last answer. Yeah. 
She's in a very threatening manner. Yes, he, is that, he is that submissive. He is that looking off screen <laughs> with his finger pointed and he's re recoiling from the camera so far. Zoom is not picking him up Santa, anymore. Santa, are you okay? Uh, no, because that's where the kitchen is and that's where the kitchen knives are. <laughs> <laughs> And Mrs. Claus looks like she's about to carve a Christmas goose. <laughs> All uh, right. Well, uh, go, go ahead and take care of things with Mrs. Claus. Thank you once again, Santa. It is always a pleasure to have you on the show. We love you, Thank Santa. You. Santa. Please help me. I didn't know there was going to be ladies here this year. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye, Santa. Bye, Santa. Happy Christmas and all a good night. Huzzah! Huzzah! Oh, oh my oh, God! Oh. Santa. Wow, that got Santa. real, real fast. Yeah. Who had bestiality on the bingo card for the Santa <laughs> segment? <laughs> Running a train, yeah. No. The Polar, Polar Express. Express. Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> That's Santa, man. Santa. I think so, I, I think just... something something's unscrewed with that guy. Uh, hey Bryce, uh, do Hi. you have a game for us? <laughs> we do have a game. We fiddle. Oh fuck! Ah oh, shit! Fuck. What? Oh no, I love <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, right, 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 right. I, I, I normally you, don't. I normally don't. don't. It's just, hey, Justin, do we have a game? <laughs> fuck, fuck, shit, uh, shit. shit. Do a body. Do we have a game? <laughs> fuck, fuck, shit, shit. <laughs> Ashley, do we have a game? <laughs> fuck, fuck, shit, ass. Uh, That's right. It, uh, sh shit. So uh, my. <laughs> I had a thing. Sorry, I was covering. I didn't. Okay. Uh, fuck. Oh shit. Uh, my uh, my cousin. I gotta get it in there. My cousin Bailey just gave birth to a beautiful baby, uh, Colt, and now I have to buy a kid's gift at the last minute. Oops. Uh, thankfully, our game tonight will come in very handy. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, what is happening? Wait, is, is, that's is, real. Is that a real my, thing? My cousin really did have a you baby have a couple a days ago. This is okay. Your wait, wait. No. I, I, yeah. Like, a are they Colt? in Indianapolis or a horse? Bull? The name of the, the the child is Colt. Oh, oh, right. oh there we go. Right. Now we're oh, talking. Yeah. Yeah. For a second there, that, that, we were wondering mixed if this metaphor. Is... Well, you, you know said a beautiful baby again. Colt. I know. Yes. We were talking no, about uh, reindeers, this, fucking women, and This episode women, began then, with like, like creatures. Shit! Uh, fuck! Shit! Uh oh! Uh oh! I've yeah, got to yeah. cut everybody off. Shit! It's time for real or fake uh, items. William Sonoma thinks are quote gifts for kids edition. I'm going to give you an item and its price, and you're going to tell me if the lunatics. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. And and we are uh, boys versus girls here. Oh. It is great knight versus great wife. Yeah. In this game. No, no, that's good. Uh, uh, stop everything to say we're sexist. We are. We know. All right. <laughs> Bonnie's trying to. <laughs> she's just trying to <laughs> try to Bonnie. ring that bell. I don't know how to ring you that can't bell. unring that bell. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Uh, uh, all right, all right. So, so it is. So it is. Belt. Great night versus great wife. Uh, uh, it is real or fake. Uh, uh, and let's play the game. Okay. Okay. Uh, so yes, it's 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 boys versus, versus girls here. I'm going to give you an item and its price, and you're going to tell me if the lunatics at Williams Sonoma really included it on their gifts for kids page, or if I'm faking and making it up. Uh, so as a team, you'll have to come to consensus on what your guess is. I'm sorry. What's that? Brian said, don't try to win. Boys do have fragile egos. It's fine. We'll let him win. We'll let him win. Uh, I also want to give a big thank you to TikTok user at No, I will not stop talking, who did a great video on this and inspired me on this game. All right. Uh, so, do, yeah, are we doing punishments today? Yes. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> the punishment is you have to call Santa Claus personally and ask him how he felt about the show. <laughs> I think. So we're gonna lose. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What do you, What do you think? Uh, oh, you get to pee on the house. I thought you're we already allowed. determined How that she's allowed. You're allowed. Oh, oh wait, no, no, no. We should do something with the with with with, with the massage gun. Yeah, you get to pee on oh. the massage gun. Please, nothing that gets me fired. Oh wait, wait, wait. I think I think it has to be like thirty seconds to the like the. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> You don't know how powerful it yeah. is, Bonnie. Well, how about this? All right, all right. Is this, is this, is this, mind, is this okay? <laughs> can... Don't, don't. No, 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 no. I don't. I, I, I'm asking. I'm genuinely okay. asking. We, we can go away from it uh, if this is inappropriate. Let's just avoid the massage gun. Can one person <laughs> right. friend, uh, uh, have to massage the other person on their team's butt? Let's no? not no. use the massage gun. Not, no, the no massage, massage gun stays gun. on the couch with your friends. Yeah. <laughs> You're in enjoying it. No punishment today. No punishment. It's a Christmas no miracle. Oh, thank you, Santa. <laughs> All right.
right, so I'm going to give you an item and the price, and you're going to tell me if this is really on the Williams Sonoma gift for I'm kids page. I used that shit on my own butt for the record, like so that would have been me too. Yeah, I yeah. it's great on the butt. It was a great gift. Thank you. Great on the butt. Thank you. Talking about Williams and Sonoma, hammering for the that shit. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. So Bryce, what was it? Loosen that ass. All right, so we got we got boys versus girls today. We're gonna start Polar Express. <laughs> Start with the girls here. Uh, Don't knock it till you try it, <laughs> uh, ladies. Uh, you're, if you can give me an answer, please. We'll go. We'll go okay. one by one. So uh, uh, the, the ladies will get one round. The guys will get a round. Uh, ladies, the uh, item I'd like you to tell me if this is on the Williams Sonoma Gifts for Kids page: Flower Shop Rainbow Explosion Cake Kit at fifty nine dollars ninety five cents. I'm sorry. Do we have subtitles on that? That was a can, lot of words. Can I get it in a sentence? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, absolutely. So, uh, 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 oh, fuck, shit, fuck. Uh, I have to buy a gift, and I'm going to buy the Flower Shop Rainbow Explosion <laughs> Cake Kit for $59.95. I've also got it in the chat here if you're uh, able to see This is flowers. the best episode of this show. <laughs> <laughs> is flower, that, it does, flower Shop, but is it... F L O U R or F L O W E R and Important I can spell. It, uh, uh, it uh, is flower as in the ingredient. Yes, uh, F L O U R. Flower oh, shop. So I, I, I think right. it's a pun. All right, okay. all right. Yes. So kids can't cook, right? So this is <laughs> no, like the adult but there's version. a big market for children to pretend like they're cooking. So this is this. This could feels be a very elaborate, though. Yeah. The explosion part or the cooking part? Because <laughs> I guarantee the you they can do both. There is explosions <laughs> in cooking that happen with Get kids. Get you a child who can do both. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> what is it then? Is it, is it for, so the question is adults or children, basically, children. right? Uh, yeah. Is this on the Williams Sonoma Gifts for Kids page? The things that the people at Williams Sonoma who are clearly off their rocker believe are for children. <laughs> I think so because STEM gifts are big. In fact, last year, science, tech, engineering, math, I guess at the end of the program. Yeah, that's math. So this sounds like Williams and Sonoma's effort to try to like capitalize on the fact that you can make a fake volcano and then they call it STEM like toys. And then people are like, I want my kids to be smart because they have to be smart. And they guess what? They don't have to be smart. They have to be charismatic and like good with people. It's awesome. Hold on, hold They're on. really Jesus stupid Christ. kids. Right. But like... <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Brian, I yeah. just want to let you know before you say anything, that's what Baby's Day outing sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> Ending up on the exact same answer for all of the wrong reasons. Right, right. Yeah. Just, that's what everybody else hears. Okay. <laughs> all right, so team, I, I that's my kids. thought. I'm going to go with you, though. <laughs> and I think 55 is a steal. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, team, team wife, you're saying the flower shop rainbow explosion cake is really on the gifts for kids page on William Sonoma. I say yes. I, I follow Eric follow the oh, wife. Okay, there we go. Okay. Uh, your answer of yes is ah! Ah! correct. Baby's yeah. day out. Baby's day out. Yeah. That's right. It's a uh, <laughs> it's a big rainbow cake, and it's got a bunch of shit inside I knew of it. it. And it mm -hmm. comes it comes in like a like a paint bucket container. Yes. What? Wait, oh, just seven hundred and nineteen dollars. <laughs> yeah, if you want to buy twelve of them, they give you the option. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. yes. Thank because you. you sometimes you have to do a birthday party sometimes and you have you to invite twelve fucking kids over to all explode cakes everywhere. Yes. Sometimes you simply need that twelve. Okay. I am not bitter. I'm not bitter at all. It's totally fine. Explode your cakes all over my kitchen. It's okay. It's okay. Come uh, in and it's fine. Bryce, what? What's the next? <laughs> Our next one. And, uh, this is for the boys. This one's for the boys. The boys. Uh, priced at forty nine ninety five. Forty nine dollars ninety five cents. The Star Wars Millennium Falcon Waffle Maker. Is that on the Williams Sonoma Gifts for Kids page? Ah oh, man, seems a little gauche. Yeah, they ain't gonna license that. Uh, uh, I don't believe Star yeah, Wars is for children. We're Williams and Sonoma, a fine yeah. institution. We would never kill off Bambi. Mid My name is Penis act. Williams. Penis Williams, and That's you not. are <laughs> Dick Mc. Fuck you, Sonoma. <laughs> <laughs> and we are Williams and yeah. Sonoma. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm in my sunset years. <laughs> We've like been at it quite a bit now, haven't we? <laughs> no, no, no. Listen, they all seem to know. What is the Star War? <laughs> I believe it was a thing that happened. Okay, so in the do sky. we buy it? No. Okay, we don't. Well, nice try, Disney's. And then These both, nuts. And then, <laughs> okay. The, and then they both died simultaneously <laughs> of natural causes. We can't do the games this late in the show anymore. <laughs> uh, boys, we're looking for a Star Wars Millennium Falcon Waffle no, Maker 49.95. No. Not in saying? a million years. Not in 1,000 years. Not even at the Disney run casino that's just a cruise ship where you would make your own waffles in the morning. Not even there. Not even there. Not even there. Not even once. Your answer of fake is <laughs> incorrect. I have Not actually totally seen for... these. Ugh. Definitely knew that. That's was a, a small real thing. waffle. I yeah. knew Very she small. was. That's pretty small. Dick was... fuck you, Sonoma. <laughs> okay. There is definitely a waffle for everything. If you wanted a waffle in the shape of Hello Kitty, you can get a Hello Kitty waffle. But is if it on the wanna... little... sorry, sorry, I stepped on your shit. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I know. I absolutely. stepped on your shit. I feel like Brian. He does that his constantly, house. you know. Yeah. But at least Is he at my house? Well, we ha we haven't even brought that possibility up. Is... Do you want to trade peasies? Peasies. <laughs> yeah, you could be uh, and I'll go pee on your house. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> what, sorry, what did you, you think did I was suggesting? You did not get to go pee on his house. Now, I would like to... Wait a minute. Like, no! Moving no! on! No! Right. I'd Moving actually like to explore on. this space. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Ladies, uh, you're in the lead 1-0. Uh, the Emile Henry French Ceramic Pizza Gift Set, priced at ninety nine ninety five. In fact, I can show you a picture of it here. Uh, it's... Uh, a uh, pizza, a pizza board, a pizza cutter. Does did this end up on the top gifts for kids page? Later. What the hell's an Emil Henry? I don't I know. Is that is that like Bluey? A, is that a Bluey character? You would call them real oh. estate peasies. That's what we would be. I trading. think We're, I think it's a ringer. I think yeah, he's showing us pictures to make it more real, but I don't think so. Wait, it's not on the kids thing. I don't think so. I don't, I think he's just showing the photos to make it like. Look official. You don't think that that's the actual product? You think Bryce is misrepresenting it? He uh, might per, be. Uh, per, first of all, I'm on Team Bonnie on this. Like, like he could he could say, "Here's the actual product and the gift receipts and the price tag and uh, here's seven people who gave it five star reviews." I still would believe none of it. Mm, this is true. Bryce is very untrustworthy. Mm. In these games, not, so I'm, I'm, I'm over. I'm only like twenty feet away. I'm actually real. I'm actually yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying you're untrustworthy. I'm saying yeah. you're very good at the game. You're yeah. good at the game. Uh, I think you did say it. okay. Uh, ladies, <laughs> we are looking about the Emile Henry French ceramic pizza gift set. Not yeah. on the kids thing. Not well, on the kids. I don't is think on the kids? kids thing. Maybe on the adults who know who that is, but not the kids. Are you gonna say fake then? I'm gonna say fake for kids. All right, your answer of fake is incorrect. It did not oh, real. It oh, it's real. Shit. They put a pizza cutter on the kids list. That's pretty lame. Who is the meal here? Rich kids deserve knives. Who? They can use them better because they're rich. Rich kids deserve knives. Trophy winner. What's the next question, Bryce? All right, uh, fellas. Uh, your next topic is the Regalis Black Truffle Popcorn Salt, priced at $27.95. Pass! Uh, <laughs> uh, nope. No, uh, no, no, no. Uh, Regalis Black Truffle Popcorn Salt. Pass! We'll literally just take zero points on this one. Pass! No, we got this one. Okay. 50-50 shot. Just on it. On it. 100%. Okay. Black Truffle Salt. Kids yeah. love Black Truffle Salt. Yeah, what's that saying they always say around the playground? It smells like butt. So you must strut. <laughs> don't don't touch me. What? Unless my... you got those truffies. Yeah. <laughs> my, my... No, you're right. It's definitely on the kids' menu. Kids' menu all the way. <laughs> Your answer of real is... You win. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. These psychopaths what? actually put it on the top gifts for kids page. Twenty-seven dollars. Uh, Thirty dollars sold for kids. God, have you? I've made the mistake of ordering that. Like the like the little like dude that's selling you the up sale of like <laughs> selling popcorn you the answer the... to whether or not you have COVID. <laughs> Yes, like he was also at the movie theater saying you want to have this fancy popcorn. I was like, whatever you say, because you're so cute. And then was that before or after he asked you on a date? Well, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> anyways, no, it smells bad. Don't order it. Black truffle. Yeah, I love truffle. Yeah, it's very good. good. Very but it smells oh, yeah. bad. Does it? Yeah. Don't you think? If you were going to make a dance to celebrate truffles, yeah. let's just say it's called the truffle shuffle. Yeah. What, what would it look like? The truffle oh, shuffle. Look, look like. <laughs> I love truffles. Yeah. They help me shuffle. That's all I got. I'm sorry. Too young for goonies. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Yeah, if you want, we'll show you the truffle shuffle. The no, 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 no. All right, okay. go. All right, the score is tied up one to one. We are here at the end of the game mm. for a two-point round, folks. Uh, uh, if you can pull out your phones, uh, one of you will uh, text me your answer from your team. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh I did uh, not bring my yours. phone because I always leave it on Figure volume. It we only need one. It's fine as long as you can text me. Uh, we are talking about the $79.95 item, the Cuisinart three-quart electric fondue set. Did they put that on the Gifts for Kids page on Williams Sonoma or not? Please text me your answer of real or fake uh, uh, now, please. I, I have a question. Mm -hmm. yes. Can I write it in a note on my phone because I don't have your number on my oh, phone and uh, Bonnie doesn't have... And oh, we can deliver yes. the note. Uh, just just write you? it very big, and you can show it to the camera. Oh, okay. uh, you have wait, to be on a group chat with him. It's fine. Well, no, no. It was we'll, we'll regroup after. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, <laughs> oh geez. <laughs> Wait, what was it? What was it? What was it again? What was it? What? No, no, no. You, 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 you can actually say it. We, 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 we've already is. sent in ours. We've already okay. sent yeah, in just, ours. Just yeah. write it big on your... Yeah. So what, what, was the, what was the... I don't even know what it was. It's it was like the Cuisinart three-quart electric fondue set. Cheese for kids. Melty cheese. Give them the power of something that they could, in a fit, dump on their friend's head because Whoa. they didn't get... To have cheese fondue first. Is this like in Game of Thrones? Rich friend. Yeah, uh, the like, crown. Right, yeah, the crown of gold. Yeah. Except it's a crown of Jesus. cheesy gold. And it, it's, yeah, that's. I'll what... take rejected social media campaigns for 1,000, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> so it's definitely for kids, right? That feels like a lazy thing for parents. Right, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. For kids. A fondue set? A fondue set is like a, a staple for. But people try 1970 to... swingers. Mm. I agree. Mm -hmm. I, but kids are getting seems like get a their very trust. specific memory. <laughs> I would just say 80s. Yep, he's trying to impress their friends. But I guess fuck them too. <laughs> you know, you, it, it's called grooming. Apparently, you get everybody. To eat All right, let's. <laughs> All right. Uh, 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 I don't have an answer from the men's team. I just have 10 memojis. Uh, the first one I is what matters. Pretty clear. The first one is what matters. What team we're oh, on. I, I see. Okay. <laughs> right. Are we voting? When it comes to kids. <laughs> yes or no. And yes or no. Real or fake. Yes or no. Real or fake. It's the name of the game. I am going to say that Melty Cheese is, is popular with the kids. So I'm going to say yes. You're going to say it's real. I'm going to say it's real. Can I change my answer? Mm. Uh, yeah, you can actually. If well, you I won't because we all know it's real. <laughs> all right, they have both said real. I'm gonna drop their answer into the answer hole, and oh, you can't see that. That's the script of a thing that you can't see. Okay, uh, I'm gonna drop this into the answer hole, and you'll find out if your answer of real is real, uh, really correct, or they're just leaving world's greatest conscripts. <laughs> There's 80 pages of them up here. There's, I just I have to throw them out every week. <laughs> Uh, Frank <laughs> is leaving world's greatest conscripts. They're just getting flashed on the show. In a final act of desperation. Okay. Uh, I'm going to drop it into the answer. <laughs> the answer hole. Whoa.
Uh, we won. We oh. won. We won. There we go. Thankfully, there were no punishments to dole out anyway. Uh, thank you to uh, TikTok user at No, I will not stop talking, who did a great funny video about this. Uh, if you have an idea for a game, please send it into our email, greatnightpod at gmail.com. You can send in an idea for a game. You can send in an idea for a punishment. If you got a question, if you got a high thoughts, anything, greatnightpod at gmail.com is where you can send that. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much to the world's greatest wives for joining us live on the show. You guys did a fantastic job. It truly was a Christmas miracle. Ooh, wives! Um... Uh, 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 Ashley, Bonnie, uh, how did you guys feel about this, uh, this this great wife experience? Never again. No. <laughs> <laughs> they felt good. ashamed and upset and distraught and deeply hurt. I just hope I still have a job after the holiday season. <laughs> they were, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Let, 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 let's go out. Uh, Sing the words, Bonnie. Bonnie. Yeah, here we go. We're at a great night. It's a really great night. Yeah. I'm high as fuck. <laughs> Not really, but I'm gonna sing like I'm the dude that wrote the song whose name I can't remember because there's a camera. Paul on. McCartney, yeah. sir. Paul McCartney. He's Ooh, a night. No. <laughs> yeah. It's so simply wonderful Christmas time. I'm yeah. getting a back massage. It's all good. You wish you were getting one of these vibrations, too? <laughs> <laughs> when will this show finally conclude? <laughs> okay, uh, there we go. Uh, hey, uh, 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 oh. Ashley, what did we learn tonight? We've learned that uh, we can pee anywhere, apparently. That's right. Uh -huh. uh, uh, Bonnie, what did we learn tonight? I'm going to go pee on your house later. <laughs> Brian, what did we learn tonight? <laughs> uh... We learned, I guess, either our wives are way more talented than we've given them credit for, or this shit's way easier than we've made it. <laughs> and I learned our life's a fraud. So, uh, 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 ladies and gentlemen, from all of us here, uh, uh, this has been a crazy year of change. Uh, but for the Christmas season, to all of you from us, Merry Christmas. Have a great holiday season. It's been a great night. Shout out, you crazy diamonds. <laughs> Send some love to Martin Sargent. Totally unrelated. Totally to unrelated. Me. Totally unrelated. Yeah. I believe it's Santa. We learned it by watching you. Polar Express. Polar Express. <laughs> Jeez. You help me survive. No, there's never been a greater night, a single bed, a later night, a pause, the masturbation night, a let's get drunk and laugh tonight. There's never been a greater, great night. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>